I'm gonna go over two major blockbuster titles coming out tomorrow Super Mario Bros. Wonder and Marvel Spider Man 2. In today's video, I'm gonna go over pros and cons and which I think is the right choice if you're trying to game on a budget. What is going on, guys? Jim here with a video today. Yes, I said a mouthful on in the intro about Spider Man and Mario Wander. Yes, I say Mario, not Mario. But yes, we're going to talk about two major games coming out tomorrow on October 20th. And I cannot wait to talk about these games today. There are two very, very amazing games, two very different games, but also two impossible games to choose from. And I understand why you click today's video to see which one is the right choice for the right gamer. Obviously, if you can get both, get both. But today we're going to talk about this is for the gamers that are trying to choose one or the other and are gaming on a budget. Before we get to today's video guys, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below by the end of the video. Are you choosing Marvel Spider-Man 2 or are you choosing Super Mario Bros. Wonder? It's a very hard choice but I'd love to hear your thoughts and I did a poll so make sure you check that out as well. Let's get started. So we're going to get straight into things with some key things to know. We're start off with Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Key things to know here, it is only on the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, you cannot get this on the Wii U, the GameCube, the 3DS. Obviously, you can only get this on the Nintendo Switch. There's no other platform to play this on. So this is the must-have console if you want it for this. So $60 plus tax, uh, you're most likely not going to get a sale on this for the rest of the year, especially since it did so well and it's a first-party Nintendo Switch exclusive. The best thing would have been if you did the buy two, get one free. Uh, uh, switch deal at Best Buy, which I have a video buy two get one free thing did uh, end, and uh, yeah, it's really upsetting. Back to this video. So this is sixty dollars plus tax. New Super Mario game hasn't been seen since two thousand twelve. I'm not talking about uh, 3D World. I'm not talking about any games like that. I'm talking about side scroll and Mario. Hasn't seen a game since this game on the Wii U back in 2012 or if you want to count Super Mario Maker you can count that as well. Classic 2D side scroll on Mario is back so yes if you're looking for that that is back and it's back better than ever it's very very wonderful <laughs> so cheesy but yes that's probably where they got the name from from those mystic levels where you go into these different worlds and portals so cool so cool so i cannot wait to talk about some of the pros and cons so we're going to go straight into the pros of this game because we're going to start with one game at a time so we don't confuse things here so pro number one if you're looking for that next big mario game yes we haven't seen a mario game in a little bit i think the last game you'll see on the screen right here it's not really at an odd occasion not to see a Mario game. 2D side-scrolling Mario game. Besides Mario Maker, like I said in the intro, you're not going to find anything since 2012 unless you want to talk about the actual Switch port that was the new Super Mario Bros. Deluxe U. But the, the real game hasn't been around since 2012. I'm pretty sure. Let me know in the comment section. Well, maybe a little off with that. If you own a Switch and a system seller, it's pro number two. Yes, if you own a Nintendo Switch, you're looking for that next game, this is definitely going to be there for you. Uh, this is a system seller. So if you're looking to buy a Switch now, you definitely might want to buy one just for this game alone because this game and there's Zelda and there's another Mario game and there's Pokemon. There's so many games that you only get on the Switch. And this is just another one added to that uh, library of excellent, of excellent games. Also, if you love the other side scroll Mario games, this might be for you because if you grew up in the 90s, you love the side scroll Mario games, the, in the back in the early 2000s, goes all the way to now. We're, we're 30 years into the making of this, and there's still side scroll Mario games. This is definitely going to be for you. And honestly, this is the best looking one yet, and looks like the most uh, creative one yet. Even though Mario Maker was kind of like a make your own levels, this is more of a single player game, and it's really, really cool. It looks really, really interesting, and I cannot wait to. Uh, uh, play this one for real but I can tell you right now from reading reviews and from seeing type of things I'm telling you right now that this one is definitely going to be uh, a, a, a massive hit if you're a Nintendo fan obviously you should pick this one up obviously if you're a Nintendo fan you're going to have this already so keep that in mind 93 on Metacritic uh, that's why I'm making this video today because I'm trying to compare this and Spider-Man I have not played either game yet but I'm telling you right now that I'm going to be playing both. You're going to see a video about me talking about them in the coming days to a week. So yes, yeah, Nintendo Switch exclusive, 93 on Metacritic. Incredible score. It is a must play, as you can see, from Metacritic. And that's by Metacritic, which puts all the things together in score. Pros, there's always cons. So let's talk about those cons. Con number one, if you don't own a Switch. If you don't own a Switch, uh, and you don't want a Switch, you, then you m might want to just buy one for this game. But... Obviously, if you don't own a Switch, this is going to be a con because you're not going to be able to play the game because it's not going to be playable on a 3DS or anything like that. It's a strictly Nintendo Switch exclusive. If you're looking forward to Super Mario RPG instead, you might want to wait on this one. Maybe that one will do much better. It's, I don't know how much better it can do if this game got a 93 on Metacritic, but that game 
could get a 97 on Metacritic, who knows? Or maybe you just don't have enough money and you're waiting for that new Mario game coming out and you want to pick Spider-Man instead so you can get two Mario games. It's very, very confusing to say if you're looking for Super Mario RPG instead, this might be a con to you. Also, no 4K graphics here, no 4K, no HDR10, no bells and whistles, that stuff. This is not the Switch uh, 4K version. This is not even, this is just a regular Switch. There's nothing added with graphics but 1080p here and 720 if you're looking on the... Uh, handheld obviously that is a big bummer if you're looking for graphics but it's very colorful vibrant and it looks great so it's gonna not really disappoint also if you're bored of that super mario side scrolling 2d type of game this might not be for you maybe you're uh, play it's played out for you maybe uh, you want to play rayman legends or something instead i don't know maybe you want to play a different side scrolling game maybe like a donkey kong game i don't know but this might be for some people might just be bored of it maybe you just want a different type of game so that's what rpg comes into play it looks really different but like i said this is going to be a really hard choice so let's talk about the next game so up next we have key things to know for marvel spider-man 2 yes this is only on the playstation 5 this is a big, big, big thing to know. If you are looking for the PlayStation 4 version, there is no PlayStation 4 version. This is not like the other Spider-Man game where it came from PS4 to PS5. This is an exclusive PlayStation 5 game, so you need that $500 plus console to get this game. And obviously, there is a Spider-Man bundle. I don't know if it's available now, but that's the one I have. And I'm telling you right now that this is a system seller, just like the other Mario game. Forgot to put that on this little list here, but it is going to be a system seller, just like other games on the PS5. This one is needed for the PlayStation 5 library. Trust me, this is a needed game for a system seller to, to for a PlayStation to be a system seller. Obviously, up next, this is a $70 game plus tax. So you're looking around $70 in tax if uh, obviously you're not in Delaware. But yeah, so $70 in tax for this game is a pretty hefty price, but it also is a PlayStation exclusive. It's sequel to Marvel Spider-Man 1, so if you love Marvel Spider-Man 1, you're most likely going to like this one even better, probably, from what I've seen in reviews and what I've seen without going into spoilers. This game it looks to be twice as good or twice as twice as big, I think I read, and I also read it's got so much more to do in the game because it's obviously a bigger game. Uh, hopefully, we're looking at another Arkham Asylum to City. Obviously, Arkham is one of my favorite series. I've talked about that a lot on the channel, but this is Spider-Man we're talking about so sequel to marvel spider-man 1 and similar like i said just kind of said it earlier this is similar to the batman arkham series so if you're into those type of games this is a must let's get into the pros of spider-man 2 marvel spider-man 2 so starting off if you own a ps5 this is going to be a must buy yes like i said on the nintendo switch side of things for mario if you are looking for that exclusive game on PlayStation 5. This is a must buy. We don't know if the PC is going to get later, but I'm sure I'm sure on 100% the Xbox won't get this game. But yes, uh, or Nintendo, obviously. So if you're looking for this game, this is definitely going to be a system exclusive on the PS5, just like the Nintendo Switch has the Mario Wonder under its uh, belt. So if you love the first one and Miles Morales, you're going to love this one. So yes, if you love the Spider-Man games, you're just going to want to pick this one up because it's the sequel. It looks so much better, honestly, and I love the other two games. Uh, up next, if you love the Arkham series, then you will most likely enjoy this series. Like I said in the intro, if you are an Arkham fan, this combat is very highly inspired by the Arkham series. It has the combos. It has the combo meter. It has the perfect dodge into a combo. It, it, if you know the Arkham series, you're really going to know what I'm talking about with this series. Uh, pro, another pro is if you're a Marvel fan, will love this, this game. So if you're a Marvel fan, a lot of Marvel fans out there, you're just going to love this game in general if you love Spider-Man. If you're looking for 120 hertz, this is going to be that game. This game has 120 hertz. Um, almost 110% sure it is at launch. But if, if you have 120 hertz TV, this is great. And it's got a groundbreaking PS5 graphics. Obviously, these graphics are going to be groundbreaking compared to the other one, which was a remaster. The other one, which was just a launch title. So, yes, this is going to be a big deal when it comes to graphics, considering it's only on PlayStation 5, unlike the other two games, which were on multi-platform. So, let's talk about some cons. Obviously, there's cons for everything, and there's cons for this game as well. So, let's talk about con number one. If you don't own a PS5, if you don't own a PS5, which is a very expensive console, you're most likely going to skip on this game because it is a very hefty price console almost double the price of the switch so yes if you're looking for the playstation 5 which there's a good reason why it's almost that price because it's got better graphics it's just more state-of-the-art technology let's put it this way the playstation 5 is a whole new 
level just like the xbox series x compared to the switch when it comes to power like i said if you're on a ps5 it's gonna be a con if you don't like spider-man it's gonna be a major con if you don't like spider-man as villains and stuff like that you're most likely gonna turn away from this game another one is if you're looking forward towards more other upcoming games yeah if you're looking for other games coming out like maybe you're looking for games like next year like final fantasy rebirth or if you're looking for games later this year like maybe avatar maybe those would throw you away from this one who knows if you're not into the arkham style games that's a major con because the arkham's games are extremely addicting and they're inspired to be something like this type of game so if you're looking for if you're not into those arkham style games i mean this might be a little uh, of a turnoff for you you never know if you don't want to spend seventy dollars versus eight sixty dollars yes one game is obviously 60 and one is 70. mario is 60 this one is 70 but let's be honest the 70 dollars is going to get you a lot more than a 60 dollar game on the switch so keep that in mind if you don't like the first marvel spider-man game or, or miles morales then just definitely stay away from this one because it's probably not going to be for you so like i said 90 on metacritic great score and it's a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Overall, which is the best choice for you? So let's talk about it one more time. Super Mario Brothers Wonder is coming out Friday, just like Spider-Man 2 is. You got one game that's exclusive on the Switch, one is exclusive on the PlayStation 5. You have one game that's obviously in 4K and, and probably 120 hertz and all that bells and whistles, which is Spider-Man. Then the other one obviously doesn't have the best graphics, but it's definitely vibrant and colorful. Then you have a game that's more of a family type of game or like a uh, Mario, Die Hard Mario type of fan. And then you have a game like Spider-Man which is obviously going to be for someone who likes superhero games or just even the family will love this game as well but if you're more into the arkham style games you're more going to lean towards spider-man if you're more into the classic mario 2d side scrolling stuff you're going to really be into the mario wonder game and it's honestly a hard choice honestly i would pick spider-man too because i'm obsessed with the arkham series but when it comes to a major nintendo a fan of Mario, they're gonna go straight to that game. I'm telling you right now. So yes, let me know in the comment section below. Are you gonna choose Super Mario Wonder or are you gonna choose Marvel Spider-Man 2? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, I did a community post yesterday about this and that's why I did make the community post because I'm gonna make a video about it. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Stay also awesome, be positive as well. Stay safe. And like I said, the choice is to be made. Mario or Spider-Man? What's it gonna be? Peace out, guys.